Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is just after 11 p.m. Sunday, the 7th of March, 2023, almost Monday the 8th. It is currently 21 degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and pop that back through, see if it comes up. Yeah, 21. Celsius, humidity 76%, whistling when I talk, 69 degrees Fahrenheit, so, uh, sleeping over here, well, sitting over here at the Pandemonium Palace, got two of the little guys, there are two little guys that are out here sleeping on the couch. Because the internet doesn't work in their rooms and they don't go to sleep without a TV. I've always been against that, leaving the TVs running at night. Um, but that's what they do in this house. I know when I go, we go out on trips a few times that I've gone out with them and end up in the same room. Uh, they have the TV on with a fairly high volume. And I like it dark and quiet to go to sleep. I mean, if I'm tired, I can sleep anywhere. But, yeah, I like it to be dark and quiet and, you know, or maybe some white noise. <laughs> I guess I got some white noise right now. They're both kind of snoring. One of the dogs is snoring. <laughs> that turtle's over there in his tank. He's bumping something or other, making a ruckus. But uh, just a good, it, it was a good day today. We went to the park. Um, it's a really nice, clear day. Uh, you know, it um, wasn't too hot. So uh, I, don't, I don't know if I talked about this. I don't know if I talked about this dog yesterday or not, but they've got this new dog. Well, She's been here a month or so. <clears throat> My son-in-law rescued her from a from a house she'd been abandoned. And she's a pain in the neck. She eats everything. I went to the store yesterday. I bought a loaf of bread. And not thinking, left it on the counter. I didn't know better. Um, she got it down, ate, it, ate half a loaf of bread. <coughs> Excuse me. Ate a whole strip of Giardella candy. I mean, that's some expensive chocolate candy, so it doesn't seem to affect it or any. But, you know. Um, and then any chance she gets, she is under the fence and off harassing the neighbor's dogs and. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> she ain't mine. I've got one more day of putting up with putting up with her. One more dinner to make tomorrow night. So not sure exactly when the daughter will be home. Sometime sometime in the late evening or late afternoon, early evening. They're coming from Miami, so that's a good seven seven hour ride eight hour ride depending on traffic so, uh, just things are different you know um it's not my house i don't have th things aren't where i expect them to be i know at my house if i've got the munchies for something I can go out and figure out, you know, something to something to make, um, where I know what I have in, in the house. Here, uh, -uh. <laughs> think you got a bag of chips? Nope. Somebody done ate the whole bag of chips, or, or what was left of the bag of chips? And you think you got some candy? And nope, somebody done got into the candy. So. And, I mean, it's not, nothing major, you know, but just turn around and, and do something else. 
I've had more peanut butter and honey sandwiches because I'm used to having just my plain peanut butter and digging in and you know eating it by the spoon. Well, that's at my house, my jar of peanut butter. You know, I'm the only one eating it. I can't really do that here. I can't, you know, eat a spoonful of peanut butter and dig back into the peanut butter. It's just, it's not, it's not right. So, I don't know why the light keeps flashing behind me. Um, you know, we're like adding hot sauce to the peanut butter or, you know, stuff like that. So, there's, it's just, it's just different. Granddad, this an old man, said something about, you know, it just disrupts your, your schedule when, like, he goes on vacation. You enjoy it. You enjoy the break from your routine. But by the same aspect, you miss your routine, you know? Um, I've got, like, four days' worth of videos to download when I get home. And that's going to take forever. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, it'll take a couple hours at any rate to download all the videos off my, off this phone to my slave drive or my, my external drive. <clears throat> Normally I do it every day or every other day. You know, two, three, four videos. Five is pushing a lot and a lot of, and you know, sometimes they're like, Little, little tiny short videos, like five, five seconds. Yeah, five seconds, 10 seconds. And then, you know, I'm putting them together to make make a short. So, you know, those those go down quick. But, um, yeah, I probably have 20 videos on here between, you know, all the shorts and, and then getting them all together. And, yeah. Uh, nothing but a thing. It'll get straight, it'll get straightened out. You know, um, coming up here in three weeks, I guess. Uh, I'll be going to my son's house for two weeks, and you know, again, that'll that'll mess things up. The only thing is, uh, my daughter-in-law has that house. Mac, labeled to the max. Um, the first time I went, I don't know if she does it all the time or what, but uh, the first time I, I spent several days over there, I don't know, a year ago or so, two years ago, she had everything labeled. You know, you open a cabinet door and there's, there's baskets and they're labeled candy, cookies, crackers, bag snacks. <laughs> you know, open the drawer and there's cookies and 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 crackers and um you open another cabinet door and it says spicy water it's got all the adult beverages uh, you know just uh and, and the place is, is loaded up with grazing materials so here they don't they don't graze a whole lot or you know, they, they do but not the same way um and they're used to go to bed at, you know, 7 or 8 o'clock. And they're not up all night puttering around in the kitchen eating. Oh, excuse me. I don't know that they are at my son's house either. I just know that they've got a whole lot more uh, snacking to go, you know, to do. I spent the night at my other daughter's last week. And it was the same way. Of course, they've only been in the house a month so you know there's nothing there's no little stashes of this that and the other thing um but it, you know it was, it was hard it was, you get up in the middle of the night you want well not maybe maybe not the middle of the night you get up from watching the computer at 2 a.m or 3 a.m and you want something to to snack on or eat and it's like there's nothing here that i want <laughs> You know, this this is this isn't my this isn't my stuff. So, uh, oh well, it worked out. Just you know, just had to 
I had to go and, and look and see what was in there and then go back and let that ferment in my head a little bit and then go back out and say, okay, we can do this and do this and do this and make this and, and you know, make it happen. So, uh, anyhow. Like I said, not really a whole lot going on today. Um, I spend most of tomorrow, I guess, getting everything organized to uh, to get loaded up and go back home again. Um, and I've got what three three bags, three of my car bags are in here uh, for various reasons. Like my electronics bag, I've got it tore up all over the place. Uh, well, it's emptied out and pieces are all over the place. So I have to make sure I collect all my cords and wall warts or, or, or blocks or I, I call them war, wall warts and the kids look at me like I'm crazy. You mean a block? Yeah, okay. Give me a block. Um, I think a wall wart is a, is a hangover from uh, a, lot of, a lot of things. You used to have that little black box you got went into the went into the outlet and they had you know the thin, a skinny cord and got plugged into into something. So I think that was that was always called a wall a wall wart or at least that's what I always called them. So the ones that work for your for phones and whatnot, you know, the little USB blocks look like a wall board you plug it in it looks like you know something growing out of your wall so but i've got them stashed here and there and uh, like right now I'm charging i'm charging one phone off of my laptop I'm running a battery off of the laptop or running a, a light off the laptop the laptop is plugged in through my, one of my extension cords and uh yeah <laughs> Uh, I've got brought one of the fans out of the truck. Um, I've got these these three inch or four inch fans, USB powered or like they they got a battery, a built in battery. There's one one I've got here does. Um, the ones that I have actually got two two others in the truck that don't have batteries. I've got several in the van. I've got multiple ones in the house. I, I just like them. They're they're inexpensive. Like I think I paid six dollars for the one in the bedroom right now at Ollie's. Um, I've had it for uh, at least a year, maybe more. Um, it's got it's nice because it's got a clamp on it, so it works. It works in a lot of areas, but it's th they throw a lot of air for such a little fan. I mean, you can't put it across the room and expect to feel it, but at three or four feet, it moves a lot of air. So, you know, if you got it set on, on two and it's three feet above your head or two feet above your head, it's blowing a lot of cool air across you. So, even when it's when it's hot and humid here in Florida, you know, sitting in the, sitting in the truck, it helps a lot. So... Anyway, yeah, just things are things are you know, totally different. I'm just sitting here looking at the looking at the grand brats. How they grow so quick? Uh, but I realized. How long it's been that the old miss has been gone the other night. Uh, I, was doing, I did a video here. Excuse me. And uh, I, I forget which meal I was making up. But I went to look for. It may have been tonight's meal. And I was, look, I was looking at. I was looking it up. Because I thought I'd done one similar. <clears throat> no. No. It had to be. Had to be the, the light, the lighter video or something, because 
anyway, it was it was five years ago, and we were getting ready to do the uh, celebration of life for the Ole Miss, uh, which meant that she'd been gone for several weeks at that point. Um, just brought it back. Uh, Closer to reality, I guess I, I, that's not what I want to say. It's like it's something that that's back there, but you don't focus on it. And then it's like, wow, it has it really been that long? Um, I look at this at the littlest guy over here, and he's six. He was only a year, a year old, a year and a month old, something like that. Fourteen months when she passed away, so. You know, it, that's one way of knowing, but it's also not something that I really dwell on. So, uh, just didn't didn't seem like it'd been that long, but that means I've been I've been, uh, you know, it, it, like from there you take and, and realize that, like, well, shoot, you've been living over here in this trailer park for four years and in the place that you're in now for over three so wow <laughs> you know? um, and don't really realize it so. but I'm I don't know I don't I don't spend a lot of time I can't say that I do spend a lot of time at home but I also spend a lot of time just going um, going to the store or going to the beach or going out to shoot a video somewhere or uh, I want to get back into doing more camping uh, even just overnight overnight type camping uh, and I've been saying that for a while and then something something pops up but I might just go ahead and Head and well, bite the bullet and, and go see what I can go see what I can get done. There's a couple of spots that's still fairly nice weather. A couple of places I can go in and uh, get some free camp campgrounds, and it's not too far away. We'll have to see. I talk I talk good story, and then I'm up all night, you know. So that's the main problem I have going out and sleeping camping. Um, is going to sleep at like four or five o'clock in the morning and then sleeping until noon and you know one o'clock getting up and it's the hottest part of the day but that's on me you know I'm the, I'm the only one that can change that and I I had it changed oh my gosh I was I was doing so well I was getting up at 12 o'clock uh, between 12 and 12 30 without an alarm clock and uh I don't know what happened. Now I'm back to doing one one thirty. I don't know. So anyway, that looks like we're getting close to the twenty minute mark. Just thought I would pop in and let you all know that there was nothing to do here, nothing nothing really fancy going on and, and yak away for, you know, absolutely about no, absolutely nothing for twenty minutes and because uh, I know some of y'all worry if I don't pop in and there's others that don't care. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't say that. I think and I think everybody does. But I mean there's I've gotten some, some really nice comments from some of y'all that, you know, you, you listen to me every day and, and blah, blah, blah. And that means, that means a lot. That's why I, you know, here it is the end of the day and I'm popping in to uh, talk to my phone for 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever did y'all leave comments on. Your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous.
<laughs> if you want to share me right on your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they ain't, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. Till I see you all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Watch it, y'all.